Hi guys and very welcome. In today's video I will show you how to check the error of the instrument. We're going to do the two-phase check on total station and that's typically what we're going to be doing uh, once a month on construction site. So let's go. Let's take the EDM out. So I'll just level it quickly and just turn it on now. I'm not going to be using controller for it as what I need. I'm going to be checking the angle and the instrument is going to show me here the information I need. Uh, just one little thing I need to do. I'm just going to put the retro target on one of these lamp posts. And that's what I'm going to be shooting. We need uh, one point in the space really to check it. So yeah, I'm back now. Uh, yeah, I use total station only. That's okay. And obviously we want to level it spot on now. Perfect. It has to be perfect. The setup has to be perfect. And uh, we're checking the error and that's all we're going to be doing. We're not doing calibration today. Uh, we would actually try to avoid direct sunlight on the instrument. But as I said, that's the error check. We want to set it as good as we can. Just maybe a little bit correction here. And yeah, I'm happy with that. And uh, the retro target is all we need really. As I said, that's gonna be point in the space. Just we need to make sure we're gonna be uh, just measuring it at the center of it. And we're gonna check two angles at the same time. So in this case, I'm just gonna go to work and maybe go survey. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna be taking these angles from the instrument and then comparing them with checking two faces. So uh, let me check this. As always, uh, I'm going through the field view here on top. So you can see white cross. I'll try to show you this now. And then just uh, I'm jumping here and looking for the target. I got my target now perfectly. So what are we gonna do? We're just gonna take that angle now from, and I'm gonna write it in the nice yellow book. So I'll just find a page like this and then just gonna put it, I'll maybe put it face one now. So that's gonna be our face one. And uh, what I got now is HZ, maybe I'll put here HZ. I got 153, 153 degrees, 40 minutes and 51 seconds. And uh, I'll put the V here. I got 89 degrees, 34 minutes, and I got uh, 12 seconds. So yeah, that's what I got here. And uh, now I'm going to be changing the face of the instrument and uh, measuring just exactly at the same point. And uh, that's what I got now. So I'm going to change. This is the face two reading and uh, I got 333. Three, 40 minutes and 50 seconds. So I can tell you now, it's actually looking like I got, I got only one second error here, but we'll double check anyway. And the uh, vertical angle, I got 270 degrees, 25 minutes and uh, 47 seconds. So that's what we have right now. So uh, we're gonna be taking uh, first reading from the second one in this case we should have a 180 degrees so I can tell you now it looks like only one second difference here but we're going to calculate it and in the second case uh, we should have a 360 degrees uh, but we sum it up in this case so as you can see here actually looks for now like it's going to be one second as well which is great but anyway uh, that would be all and the very important thing is uh, if you actually do the two-phase measuring we eliminating the error as you can imagine uh, that error from the first reading going to be then taken off and eliminated by the second reading but that's how we're checking the error and uh, as I said we're not calibrating really the instrument we're just checking the error uh, the calibration itself would be a little bit uh, longer process maybe as well but you need to follow the procedure you need to be ideally around 100 meters of the target and the target itself should be actually the round prism but this is what we do on site we do two-phase check we check it with our limits check it with our ITP and that's going to be regular monthly 
check on site. And uh, that's how we're going to be doing this. As I said, uh, two phase measurement eliminating the error. But uh, in this case, uh, I had the uh, two measures, let's say, so I got to double the error because every reading had an error and I got two readings. So I have to divide uh, the final value, the final difference by two to get an exact error. But as I said, typically on sites, we actually check it two phase and then we compare it. If it's less than 10 seconds, that's all right. So uh, that would be the procedure of checking on site typically. But as I always say, just keep having a look at ITP and speak with your senior engineer. Let's go to the office, let's calculate. I'll show you, you can do it easily on the calculator as well. On the screen, you can see better now. It was a little bit uh, shiny there, but you can see horizontal, vertical, and then uh, we change in the face. Obviously, I don't have a screen on this side. Taking the reading and we compare it. So the horizontal angle actually uh, should be 180 degrees that's what we should get uh, when we're going to be taking off uh, the first reading from the second one in this case and any discrepancy going to be double our error and in case of the vertical angle of the vertical circle check that should be actually 360 degrees in this case we're going to be adding the numbers and uh, same as before any discrepancy going to be actually double our error but uh, let's just take the calculator for it and have a look. I need to change the battery on my calculator, it looks. But uh, what we have uh, on the mode on the calculator is just one. But uh, they're gonna be 333, three, three. and we have a here degrees, 40 minutes, again the same button here for the minutes, and uh, 50 seconds. Same button, it looks like the same, but this is obviously seconds, minutes. And degrees and I'm gonna take off one five three degrees 40 minutes and 51 seconds and what I got here is one seven nine fifty nine five nine so that's exactly one second what I said before so I can maybe take it from 180 degrees and I got one second on. This is great, guys. So that's my error here. From two-phase check, I got one second only, which is great. That's what I was thinking. And my error in this case, as I told you, it's uh, two values taken. So it's two times error. So my error in this case on the instrument will be zero five seconds so this is great but what we typically do on site actually that's the finish of our check here and we comparing this that should be less than 10 seconds but as i said uh, you need to check the itp document and uh, make sure what you're going to be checking and the error typically should be less than five seconds sorry so uh, let's check the vertical one in this case we're going to be actually adding the angle reading we have so we got uh, 89 degrees 34 minutes and 12 seconds plus 270 degrees 25 minutes and uh, 47 seconds and what i got in this case 359.5959 that should be 360 if i take off now 360 let's say Again, it's one second only on the two-phase check. Second, one second. That's for me, it's less than 10 seconds. That's my final check is done. Error in this case, error of the instrument gonna be half of my reading. So same, it's a half second as well in this case, sorry. I keep forgetting this. And uh, you know how to check the error. This we're going to be doing uh, probably once a month. Uh, we sometimes call it calibration check. Uh, it's a two-phase check, really. So uh, as I'm going to be repeating about that ITP, I know, but uh, yeah, have a look at this. And if we're going to be doing calibration, this is different procedure, as I mentioned before, and you're going to find the link below to check how would you do it if you're going to be calibrated. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, now you know how to check the error of the instrument. Uh, this is a very important, especially uh, if you're a junior engineer just starting on construction site. This video is actually 
for the Udemy course I did uh, for you guys. So uh, yeah, that's going to be very first thing and then slowly going to be learning and learning more about Total Station. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe, leave the thumbs up and uh, check more videos on this topic.